Donald Trump calls America a failing nation. Now, I'm serious, think, but think about this. Think about this. He publicly says to the whole world, I'm going to say something outrageous. I know more foreign leaders by their first names and know them well than anybody alive, just because I'm so damn old. <laughs> but I'm not joking. Think of the message he sends around the world when he talks about America being a failing nation. He says we're losing. He's the loser. He's dead wrong. Many of you are very successful people who travel the world. Name me a country in the world that doesn't think we're the leading nation in the world. Without America, not a joke, think about it. I'm being literal. Who could lead the world other than the United States of America? But well, guess what? America's winning, and the world's better off for it. America's more prosperous. And America is safer today than under Donald Trump. Trump continues to lie about crime in America, like everything else. Guess what? On his watch, the murder rate went up 30 percent, the biggest increase in history. Meanwhile, we made the largest investment, Kamala and I, in public safety ever. Now, the murder rate is falling faster than any time in history. Violent crime has dropped to the lowest level of more than 50 years. And crime will keep coming down when we put a prosecutor in the Oval Office instead of a convicted felon. And folks, the single senator from the sea senator from California and I passed the first ban on assault weapons. And guess what? It worked. If we care about public safety, we need to prevent gun violence. And what makes me ashamed when I travel the world, which I do, more children in America are killed by a gunshot than any other cause in the United States. More die from a bullet than cancer, accidents, or anything else in the United States of America. My God. That's why Kamala and I are proud. We beat the NRA when we passed the first major bipartisan gun safety law in 30 years. I'm serious. That comes from here. And now it's time to ban assault weapons again and demand universal background checks.